Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, I was checking out portable solar panels, and that's when we encountered this one from Flashfish. It's the 18 volt, 100 watt foldable solar panel. And you see here, I kind of installed it without proper support, and it started warping in the sun. So I, in a panicked hurry, I folded it up and put it away. But let's take a look at the product page here. Yeah, it, you know, it looks like a handsome device. I can't speak for the price. I got it significantly cheaper on sale. You see DC output, Type-C, PD, 65 watt, and USB. It's also intended to charge these solar generators. Okay, it's 8.25 in the morning, and I got to charge my Moto E cell phone, and it's at 30%. So here's the installation. I set it up here on this concrete slab in my backyard. The stands are seemably workable. And there's my cell phone getting charged. There's the accessory pouch on the back of the fourth solar panel there. Let's take a closer look. I left the 12 volt DC cable in there. So you see the DC out, the USB, and that PD 65 watt USB-C port there. And here we are an hour later. And I'm kind of concerned because I still see that fourth panel just slightly bent there. And it seems to be under the weight of the contents of the accessory pouch on the back. So I do recommend emptying the accessory pouch if you're going to leave it set up in this manner. But you can see, wow, this is really hot. We're over 80 degrees centigrade, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't realize it was going to get that hot. I mean, shoot, it's only... 80 something degrees out at 9 in the morning. Yeah, here I used that cinder block to pop, prop up that fourth panel there to keep it from warping further. You can see my phone's over 100 degrees, 42 degrees centigrade. Yeah, see, even their own picture shows that fourth panel kind of sagging off to the side. Yeah, see, it's, see, it's 946, it's 88 degrees out. I didn't expect it to be 180 degrees on the panel. I got over 25% charged in that one hour period of time. So I went ahead and moved this set of panels out onto the grass. And here it is. It's 20 degrees cooler here at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I'm going back and forth between <laughs> metric and, and imperial here. You got to go with what you're familiar with. Sorry. Yeah, so it's significantly cooler, almost 30 degrees cooler in some cases. I think that that fourth panel, I think the charge controller actually contributes to the heat on that fourth panel. Yeah, you can see my phone is coming down closer to 100 degrees temperature. So we've been out, what, an hour and a half and we're at 57%. It's still 88 degrees outside. That's not bad. An hour later, we're at 83% charged. It says 30, 38 minutes left. I shot additional footage, or I thought I did, but I don't have that. So at 11.40, we're at 85%. You can see, okay, and then here, almost 1 p.m., we're at 97%, and it says 10 minutes more. But I went out 10 minutes later, and it was still at 97%. So I pulled the plug at that point. Again, here, be careful with the weight of that accessory pouch on the back panel. I'm, next time I try this, I'm going to charge a power bank instead of a cell phone. Just because the way smartphones charge, they charge rapidly initially, and then they slow down towards the end. Leave a comment down below on what you think. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Shotoku Tech Solar videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.